Good morning everyone. Well I hope you can uh, see. This morning we're going to do the first of our um, flower appliques and I'm going to show you how to make this particular one. We're going to make this flower, this flower, this flower, the bud, uh, the leaves. I've changed the leaves slightly to make it easier for you because they are a little bit hard and it's done on a crinoline and this is the crinoline which is basically if you go if you've got some fabric stiffener and a bit of netting you could do same thing i've tried it on the netting just put a piece of netting in front and just painted it with the um um fabric stiffener and it's still flexible for you to use like this but firm so you can use that Um, and you don't need much, you just need a small piece. So what we're going to do is, we are going to start, make sure your needles are threaded. I've got one with green thread and one with a pink thread, because that's all I need. The first flower we're going to make is your central flower, which is the outer one of this middle section. For that, I'm using the gross grain. And I'm just going to... Sit, um, seal the edges, the ends, like that, that's all you have to do, just let me put my things there. Now I've cut this one at uh, 40 centimetres, 40 centimetres, but I might not need that much. I do a little bit extra uh, because it's just easier to have less, than, uh, more than less. Um, you can always chop off. Now you're going to go up the first right hand side, leave a good five millimeter and just a few stitches to the top, pull your thread and then we're going to do six stitches so that's one, two and as you can see they're not that far apart, three, four, five, six pull your thread through but keep it flat then you're going to fold your left hand side towards you so that it's more or less a straight edge here not like that but straight edge like that and then do uh, across the top of that fold sorry And we need four petals. So we've just created our first. That's your first petal. Okay. Now we're going to go back and do six more stitches. One, um, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull that through flat and fold it towards you again. You fold in the left hand side towards you, more or less keeping this straight if you can, doesn't matter if you can't, doesn't matter, it'll still do the job. Yeah, you're probably getting about three stitches at the across the um, fold. Now try and use a decent thread, I use this type of thread and it's really really strong, which is like, um, I think it's called a satin thread. One, two, three, four, five, six stitches again and we've just created our third petal. One, two, three. Fold that over and again about three stitches across the top. One, two, three and we're going to create our fourth petal. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then cut because we don't need any more. Don't waste that, it'll come in handy for something else. 
take your flame lighter whatever put your thread away so you don't burn yourself burn that off and just seal it off and then you stitch down that end there okay now what we're going to do you've got that so we're just going to ease all of that together ease it down really careful because you don't want too much gather um, and then make sure that it's all the same way so that leads on to that leads on to that leads on to that see like that so you've got that and then what I do is just pop the needle into the opposite side make sure I've got the right piece yep this what I showed you the other day and you've got that but now we need to make it into a flower so we're just going to ease it and pull it and you see how it pulls itself in like that so I'm just going to pull it in a little bit more tight as it will go and then just give that a tacking stitch to hold that in place and that will be your base of your first flower like that and that's fine that's really pretty so I'll just do another stitch okay yeah that's fine I'm happy with that so just snip that off and re-knot it ready for your next one oops so always get yourself prepared if you can it's just a lot easier where's my needle there we are now what we're going to do for now we're going to make the next piece that's going to be where you've stitched it will be the bottom section now we're going to make this little one that goes in the middle and it's very very similar but I'm using um that was a gross grain ribbon now I'm going to use the um <laughs> bias binding it's the seam binding not bias binding seam binding I'm going to use the same needle what I'm first going to do though is to fold that down just fold it down so it makes a nice neat edge a couple of tacking stitches on there and do exact same thing go to the end like that um, and for my petal I think we're going to use we might get six out of it so one two three four five that's six um, sorry and then fold that over I mean, if you want to do a different flower in yours, that's great. It's whatever flower you want in the middle. One, two. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want you on there, mate. Fold that over. Try not to let it gather, but I'm uh, used to doing these. It's easier when you pull it in, you see, that's all. Okie dokie. So that's two petals so far. Have we got two? Yeah, two petals so far. One, two, three, four, five, six stitches. Fold that over. And we just need a couple of stitches in this one. And you're actually stitching across the fold. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Fold over with a couple of stitches here. So that's we've created one, two, three, four, two more petals. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. One, two, three, five. That was our last petal. Leave enough to turn over and chop. And just turn that over. Well, it means an extra stitch, but it doesn't matter. And work that to the end. And then what we're going to do, make sure it's all the same way. And pull that in. Just pull it down. Okay. We need to get it exactly the same way, you see. Make sure it's all the same way. There we go, I think we've got that. Yep, and then go to the very end where you started. And then pick that up. Bring them two together. Now this, you know, you've got to make sure this is the right way. It's all facing the right way. Got it. Like that. Hold the end where you've joined it together and pull that in. Now you can do as many of these as you like. Five or six is about right and uh, look pretty. All we do then is tack it together. I've left the gaps in the middle for the pearls. You can pull it as tight as you want or you can loosen it. That'll do that. So there's my central fi fire flower. Just take, burn that off for your excess spits. Like that. So now what we're going to do is to attach these two. Now what I can do um, is to glue them and I'm going to do that. Well, I was going to. Um, I forgot to put my glue gun on. <laughs> so that will sit in there and that makes our fancy. And I've done a, I think I must have only done five on that one. And um, I've now ended up with uh, a one with six. But it's, it doesn't matter because to me the fluffier... When I say the more ribbed, not more ribbed, the more gather you've got in a flower for me is better, to be honest. So that will sit in there. And I think instead of doing the three pearls, we can do the one pearl in this one. That's just going to look beautiful like that in there. So we'll take that out. Um... I might put a bigger one in. I'm not sure yet. Let's just have a look. Yeah, we've got one like that, you see. I just love pearls. They're just a beautiful look. Now, I could stitch that onto my crinoline. Uh, I might stitch this one on first while I'm waiting for the glue gun because I'd forgotten to put that on like a silly sod. So, And then we build out our flower from there. So that's where I want my flower, just there. I'm just going to stitch this on. Is my thread disappearing for? There we go. And the way to do it, I just go up and down between the folds. And stitch it onto the crinoline. A couple of stitches in each petal, basically. That's all you need. So I'll do another one in that fold there. Like that. That's secured that on. Then on this one as well. Move that up so we get a little bit here. And it's just securing the petals on.
like that. So we've got that secured on and then I might just stitch this on like so. And by that I'm just going up and down in between the folds like I say what we've got here already. On this side. Like that. Stitch that on. And I think one more there. And that's attached that one. And then we can just make sure that's on there securely. And chop off. Now right, that thread's a little bit yucky. So I'm going to change my thread. Let me just change my thread. Oops, sorry. <coughs> Try and put enough thread on your needles and just sew with a single thread. I don't do double um, because sometimes it can just get all knotted and it, you get frustrated and, and then you end up chopping the thing off and having to start again. So we don't do that. Okay. So we've got that so far, and that's fine by me. And now all I'm going to do is attach my bead. And not sure that's more elegant, but I think no, I think I'm going to put that one on. Hang on, glue gun not quite ready. We'll do another one till we're ready for that. So, now what I'm going to show you is how to do these leaves. These are great little leaves. They're nice, they look nice, they look elegant. And um, I'm going to show you dead easy. And then we'll start and attach those. So, I've taken a piece of, um, I think it's, yeah, four centimetre wide. And that is... 12 centimetres long so it's 12 centimetres that way 4 centimetres that way doesn't have to be perfect and what you do is fold it in half take your tweezers and about halfway on the right this is your loopy bit here this is where the fold is halfway to the point cut I'm going to cut that off but don't waste that because I'll show you what to do with that in a minute Make sure you've got enough there for the flame to be melting it together. Like that. Pull it out slightly and push that together. And you've made that. Now... We're not going to go up there, down there, up there, around there. You can do, and you end up with... Um, let me just see if I can show you which leaf. Uh, I have one. Let me just show you, because I want you to see which you have. What do you end up with? Yeah, here we go. If I took that now, that leaf, and I started to sew up there across there 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 and there you end up with that particular leaf which is a lovely leaf they are really pretty but I don't want to do that because I want that shape which is more appropriate for this particular project that I'm doing and to do that what we do is we take our needle and thread and we hold it with the point facing you and from that corner from the right hand side corner you're going across to the very center so just start and stitch that in a straight line ish 
to the centre and then what you do is you go from that centre to the left hand corner like so pull that together see and you get that leaf pull it as tight as you can and hold it see like that really pretty leaf and then wrap that around three or four times many times as you like actually and put your needle back through then come back through it again and once more for security dead easy and then all you're going to do very carefully on this side of the stitching obviously you cut that away and you find you have a perfectly good leaf so we're going to do another one of those one more okay oh we can do a couple of them actually because I don't know how many I'm going to use in the project Okay, so we've taken our th um, ribbon, take your tweezers, about halfway on the right to the point, you chop, you make sure there's enough there for you to seal together. Pinch that together. There you go, there's a perfectly good leaf for you. Take your thread from the corner, from the right hand side, or if you're left handed, do it the left handed side obviously, straight to the middle, like that, and then go from the middle straight to the left hand corner. Keep that together. See a leaf like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wrap that round a few times and then go back and forth two or three times. There you go, and then you want to cut on the right hand side of it, depending on where you're, <laughs> you're stitching it. And there you go, you've got a pretty, pretty little leaf. So we'll do one more of those because um, I've got them here, I might as well. from the point of the fold to the middle cut that off make sure there's enough to seal together I'm not sure about that section there like that And again, we're just going to stitch from the right corner to the centre. I hope you've been seeing all of this. We're doing good. <laughs> Wrap. And then stitch off and then cut and there you have it perfectly good leaf nice size as well now with the bits you've cut off let me just make sure you can see what I'm doing I think so. With the oh, fasten your needle because, uh, like I say, we've got enough on there to do another pro another item somewhere, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, with the bit you cut off, fold that back up, 
And as long as you've got a decent sized piece and you're using that size, well, you can do them smaller if you want. Fold it again in half and you must, you know, make it that the corners you can see. And I'm just going to burn these down. Just seal them together like that. And then, oops. And there again, you've got another one that you can actually pop in. I'm not doing it, but I'm just saying if you wanted to pop that in, do you know what I mean? So you'd get that in there. Or you can add some of these. In fact, I'll show you what I mean, because it's easier when you can see it. I'm a visual learner myself. Um, so just pop some of these um, stamen together. Like that. And we pop a little bit of glue on. Right, cool a minute. Give that a spread like that. And then what we can do is a bit of glue down the sides. And they can pop right in like that. Look. And you've made yourself a nice little something or other, whatever you want to call them, to add into your projects. So that's how you do those. Now, where are we? We've got this. I'm just going to put that to one side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fit some of those leaves onto our project. Now the glue gun's ready. Um, now I could... Hang on, because I'm getting glue all over. Right, stop that. <laughs> I'm first going to stitch them in. They do need... You can glue them in or you can stitch them in. It really doesn't matter. But I'm going to pop one in there. And just stitch it onto the uh, crinoline. Remember that you're going to be cutting around the crinoline. So you don't want the um, thread that, you know, you don't want to cut the crinoline not ha and have it showing. That's what I mean. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to stitch a leaf in there and then I'm going to take another leaf and I think I'm going to put another one there. And I'm just stitching them onto the crinoline. You're just tacking them on, basically. So that's all you need to do. Like that. Pretty. I'm going to go to this side and do the same again. Oops. Just I'm going to attach it there. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Oops, tack that on. Might make sure you've got enough thread because it's going across the back. Just to attach that. And I want one more. Maybe that one. Like that. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is just take this off um, and re-thread my needle because it is a little bit short now. Like that. That's fine. Right, so the next thing we're going to make, so we've got that. See, it's slightly different, but it's you'll you'll get used to it. The next thing we're going to do now, um, I'm going to do the buds and put the buds in. 
so we'll just move that to one side and to make the bud I used this which is the um, half inch satin and you're going to need the other needle so swap your needles you fold it in not straight down fold it to an angle like that fold that to an angle like that so you've got a gap in the middle and that can be as wide as you want it that's big enough for me to make my bud make sure we've got a knot in the end yep okay so we just folded it over left a gap in the middle um little tacking stitch oops get off move that out of the way i don't like it when they get in the way right and then we stitch across now i'm just going to show you the back you'd have to make sure you catch this back bit so just do it to the corner pull that in really easy just pull that in and stitch back through but this time we're not cutting anything off because we need that for our stem okay wrap and stitch through oh sometimes it can be a little bit hard but persevere like that because now we don't need any more stitching but before I forget pop my knot in the bottom of this one just going to double knot it move this out of the way we'll make another one but as you can see we've got that and that's fine that's great take a piece and um, this is about let me see this is again 12 um, centimeters yeah 12 centimeters long now in the middle pop a little dob of glue that's all i do just to keep it in place and pop that just to cover the base of this that you've gathered so you need to see the petal but that will secure it we're ready for what you're going to do now take the right or left whichever way you you know whichever handed you are wrap that over but downwards see like that so it's hard you know it's coming halfway then take that one and wrap that one over that from left to right right to left like that so you've got that turn it over and all just a dob of glue over the back section and wrap the bottom one over the top up to the right and then this is what you're going to use to make your stem with so a bit of glue down the stem just a smidgen you don't need a lot and I'll squeeze it together while you're doing it so you're actually rolling it now look see you've got your little bud and you're actually rolling it this is the easiest way I found them to do it. You know, if you've seen anybody else doing it a different way, then you do whatever you feel comfortable. I find this so much easier. And it works. And that's the that's the thing. Find what you, you know, do what you think works. So I'm just going to smidge in a glue and twist. That's all I have to do is to smidge in a glue and twist. Okay, and then what I can do is just snip it I might need to cut that shorter or longer depending on where I'm going to put it on my project so I'm going to put it on my project now now you can just slightly bend them see like that perfect that's fine for me now um, because I've glued it I'm not I'm not going to um, put my needle through it because that would be silly. So I'm only going to use the very end to glue that onto my project. Like that. So when I cut it, I can still cut around it. So I've got to do another one. Ready? Oh, did me 
get my needle ready. <laughs> Ooh, I was going to have your needle ready. Yes, I did. We'll do that again. Fold that over to an angle. Fold that over. It was roughly about that width. And then just give it a tacking stitch. And make sure you catch in the back of it. Like that. Pull that in. And don't forget, you can play this video back and go back over it all. So if you forget how I've done something, just play it back. Stop and start it if you're going to be doing um, this project. It's just easier. It's I do it in a step-by-step -step manner so that it helps you. Right. So we've got that. Let me knock this before I forget. My hands aren't feeling too bad today. It's the first day of relief because yesterday they were extremely painful. But there you go. So again, about 12 centimetres like we said. Pop a tiny bit of um, just a smidgen of glue in the middle. Halfway, just to cover all this section. Fold the right to the left on a downward. Fold the right. Uh, the left to the right so it covers where you want it. Turn it over. Smidgen of glue down the centre there. Wrap the bottom one over. And then you can start and wrap. And get that going. And you're basically making your own stem. Twist. That's it. Just twist it. And twist. And I'm just going to put this smidgen of glue on there and twist which will help I'm twisting it towards me but if you want to do it the other way it doesn't matter that's it that's what I should be doing twisting it away from me right and we have to do it like that so I'm going to bend that slightly and I want that to fit oops wrong way around bend the other way Bring this in. Oh. So I want it there, roughly there. So I'm just going to glue the end, just the tip of it. So don't forget, I'm going to have to cut the crinoline. Take that off like that. That'll do me. I'm happy with that. Uh, I think we can put the pearl in. I mean, you could leave that like that now. You don't have to do any more to it whatsoever. That will make a perfectly good little... But we're going to carry on. Now, um, I think we're going to do this one, which is the rose. And I'm going to attach them here. So these are actually going to get glued onto the leaf. And underneath that petal slightly. Just there. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make one. So I've got some prepared, that was all. So move that to one side. I've got this um, ribbon. It's a centimetre wide ribbon. And all you do to make that flower is I've got a little bit of glue there. Fold that down. Touch of glue there. There's no sewing in this one whatsoever. And then fold it one, two, three, and then fold that back and bring it towards the front, you know, close up to the center. 
and then fold it and then fold it back see how you're making your rows hope you can see fold roll back fold roll back fold now we're gonna have to start and put a little smidge of glue just underneath there because you do have to you know it'll just come undone I just put it under there at the back to keep these together fold you probably need about eight inches of um, this ribbon do the glue underneath and it's and then push your finger on it and it's as long as you're doing that with your thumb it's keeping this flat see it has a beautiful rose now we don't want them too big at all but you want them big enough that people can see yeah another couple of turns and mine's ready like that I think that's big enough so what we have to do then oh just let me bit of glue under that one and I'm just gonna cut that there and turn that back again with a bit of glue under there smidging of glue on that end and tuck that in at the back and that's all I need to do Oops. pull that in and then you cut that bit off and you're done and then we glue that into place so like I said I'm going to have mine oops, between there, that and that yeah there just there that's fine I'm happy with that see that's a little bit looser than that one. I did that one a bit tighter, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. Um, so now what I'm going to do, because I've shown you how to do the bud, the two that I used, I'm going to use in here, I think. In there, maybe. Yeah, I actually like them like that. Oh, I don't know, do I? Don't know. Yes, I think, no... This is the problem. <laughs> I like that, I think. Yes, I'm just I'm not what's it in with them, I just glue them in because I don't need to stitch them. This sort. Bend it slightly. And I'm only putting a smidgen of glue on. Like that. Yeah. Now what I want to do is I just want to add um, a couple of leaves. These are the small ones and I'm showing, going to show you how to do these. You take um, your ribbon I've just cut like a not quite a square fold it in half take your tweezers and you need to cut it from the fold to the point like you did before oops and then seal that off Take your needle and thread. Did I not the end? I think I did. Yep. Right, and then what you do with this one is you turn that inside out. So you turn that inside out like that. See? So it was like that. You just sealed that. Turn that inside out and then get your needle and thread and you just stitch it along the end, at the, the edge. 
like that. And where you've got the points, you push the point down. Like that. Just push the point and then you do two stitches. One into the top of it and then one into the bottom of it. And then one across. Done. I'll show you that again. Just going to burnish this like that. And that leaf is like a folded leaf. Um, I'm just going to I'll stitch this in, I think. Let me just make the other one so you can see it again. So I'll take this out of your way. So, not quite a square. Fold that in half. Take your tweezers. Again, about halfway down. Cut. Make sure you can seal it. Open it up, turn it inside out, where's my needle, stitch the bottom, along the edge, sorry, the raw edge, pull that together, take the point that's now showing, press that down, one stitch at the top, one stitch at the bottom, Take it, just go over it and one stitch at the bottom and one stitch through it. That's all you need to do and if you're careful and then just burnish all the ends like that. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to pop that underneath here which just fills this out. So I need my needle and thread again. And I've, um, I think I made a couple of extra ones, I'm sure I did, um, ready, oh yes I did. So we're just going to pop those in, basically it's to cover the stems but it's to fill it out as well. And tack that into position, like that, that's all you need to do. Oops, a couple of stitches into it. That's it. Oh. Now, I need to put one in here as well. So I'm just going to get my needle to come across so I'm not pulling at it like I did before. Take one of the... I've just done... And we're going to add that in here. Just tap that into position. Like that. Okay, are we still okay? Hopefully we're still filming okay. Seeing that's just made that there. Now what I'm going to do, um, I think, um, I've got some, let me just see, slightly different to the one I've just done, but I like this one actually. We do, you do have to fill them out, that's the whole point. I'm going to put a, we need something here. Right, so I think what we'll do is we'll make another flower. Now I've got this and we don't need all of it so I'm, what I'm going to do is let's measure it I've got 30 inches uh, 30 centimeters sorry so I'm just going to cut it in half but you, you don't have to let's just sort this out seal it off right seal the other end take my needle and thread it's just a centimeter wide ribbon uh, I know this is chiffon with a nice little um, satin edging. So I'm just going to go around the whole top like that. Like 
and then join that back at the beginning. Let me just make sure I can get that through. I'm not touching that knot. Yeah, that's it. Oh, come off. Right, so let's make sure it's all facing the right way. Pull that in and you've made a little flower. That's all you need to do. Just to make a little flower. That's fine. Quite happy with that. Take the flower, bit of glue on back. Right, let me just get another glue stick. Just get another glue stick. And I'm going to turn the camera off and get a redo the battery because I don't want to... I'd done all this yesterday to show you and it didn't work. <laughs> right, so we're just going to glue it onto them leaves. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is to pop on a little pearl. You can hand sew all of this on if you want, but it's a lot quicker if you don't. So that's just filled that out. I'll be back in a minute. Right, we're back. So I hope you can still see. I just had to change my battery because it was... I, it started to go blurred when I was editing it and I thought, oh, what the hell is this? And then the rest of the film, well, half of the film went blurred to, totally. Right, so now what we need to do is to make another one for this side. So again, we'll just seal this. Take my needle and thread again. just a running stitch down a bit of um, ribbon and you end up with I don't think that's going to hold actually do a double knot again with a tiny little flower I'm just going to hold that and put that back through there. This is sometimes easier to do it this way and you, you don't get any messing about, look. And straight away you get your little flower. <laughs> like that. how quick it is to make a little flower so all I'm going to do now is to glue that press that little flower into there and then find another little pearl of some sort got one I think yeah there we go pop that in there with that little pearl. Oh, that's gorgeous. That. I love that. Now what we're going to do is put a little bit of... Um... Oops, where is my needle gone? There we go. I think we'll just pop a little bit of greenery into it now at the bottom. So I'm going to keep my uh, needle threaded. And I'm going to work from that... Just work it across the project at the back, down to the middle, like that. Now, I've got some of these leaves. I love these, and I've got loads of these coming in. So, what I'm going to do, we need to make them long enough. Nice dangle trim. And I need at least four of these. That'll do. 
Okay. Now I'm going to stitch these in. So we lift up that flower. I hold that in position. And you can't come out too far because don't forget you're going to have to cut the crinoline. So don't do it too much as long as it's hidden under the flower, under the main flower. You should be fine. Oops. The only thing I don't like about this is that it does catch. <sighs> Hang on a minute, because it does catch. You get it wrapped around these leaves. So just take your time with it. Best off holding them out of the way, and then we tack that in place. I hope you can see this. Keep that down and I'm going to bring that back up again uh, through the crinoline because I also want to put another one on these all need fitting on there to be honest so we can go back down keep them in your hands so they don't catch because they're buggers for catching just tack them in where you can That's it. Get the next long. Make sure they're all facing the right way as well. And I would suggest you put short and long ones in. Sorry. Do it that way, mate. <laughs> right, yeah, and I'm going to have another one just plonked in there. That'll do. So put that back through. Don't get caught on that last one. Take it to the back and stitch the, uh, you know, just do some tacking stitches. To hold that in place. My thread's coming out. Okay, so we'll do that. See how pretty that looks. Um, but I've still got some of these um, little leaves, so I'm going to start filling out. And I think we can do this one as well, maybe. I'm just going to glue it to be honest I don't need to I'm going to put that underneath right underneath there and then sh just do that and glue that out take a little one that I've done and a bit of glue on that and we can pop that there just at the end look Beautiful, they look fantastic, it fills them out. So, we're going to do that again here, pop that in like that, keep all these going. Had another one of those, didn't I? Here we are. Yeah. Right. Oh, wrong way around, woman. That's it. So it fills them out. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a couple of these. And these are... That's, it, that's the wrong colour, actually, so I'm not going to use them. I'll change my mind. What I've got is some... We'll do these. The little spare ones. To make sure they're the right way. And just glue them into position. I'm just going to start adding a, you know a few more leaves so you're mixing and matching tiny leaves with big leaves but it fills it out and it looks better 
Right, I'm just going to stop at a minute because I've got that all over me and it's doing me a day. It feels like I've got a spider crawling on me. And you know what I'm like for them. Now my hands are starting to hurt. <laughs> I can't bloody win, can I? Mind you, mate, Doctor's six. When's the six? What date are we on? Fourth. I thought it was fifth. Losing track of time. Right. Just glue them on where you want a leaf. It's just to fill out. Let's put one there, under there. Just looks like it's coming out of there. One more, I think. Let me just do this. Yeah, I think we can put one there. Right. I just, I need something here. Right, I'm going to make another couple of those um, leaves. Where's my card? I just need to, I feel I have to. So I'm just going to fold that down. That'll be big enough. One... Two, three, four. I just feels like it needs it. <laughs> Tweezers. There we go. There we go. Oops. Keep that on, mate. Where's my needle and thread? Found it somewhere. There we go. Have I got enough one? Yes, it'll do one. It'll do one of them. Maybe both. Like I say, they don't have to be... I mean, that's not... I haven't done that too long. You know, this would have been longer. I haven't done that, but I don't want a big leaf. I want a smaller one. See, I'm going wrong way now. From there to the centre. <laughs> And then back. Like that. Put your leaf together. Yep, that's fine. Wrap. And then go through a couple of times. And chop. And then glue it because we just we only need to glue. I will when I get my glue gun to work. Take where I want it to be. And it's here. It's under here that was um I didn't feel was enough. See, it's filled that out. So I need one more like that. Let me just re-thread my needle. Let's move these bits out of the way. I might not need them because that did fill up what I wanted. Okay. Doing the leaves this way compared to what I did... The th uh, sorry, it's there. I need that one. Compared to what I did that way, it's actually made it look a whole lot different. But I do like this. I love the fullness of it. So... Like I say, point towards you, and we're going from that corner to the centre. And then back to the corner. Pull together. Like that. Yeah, that's a big enough leaf. I don't need it any bigger than that. Wrap it. Uh, and stitch it. Oh! 
I'm losing my grip again. That's all I'm doing with that. I can't. So there's my leaf. I'm quite happy with that. It's just a filler. Just to glue that. And then you see, I'm going to put that under there like that. Yeah, quite happy with that. And then what we've got to do, trim that out. So, all we do then, see what I've glued it? You just have to make sure that you're not cutting the stitching, remember. Follow it round. Make sure you pull this down and your scissors rest underneath. You don't want to cut any of those off you've just put on. And there you go. It doesn't matter what that's like at the back. But that is how I do them. Which is the easiest way I can share for you to do them. And if you can figure out a different way, then great. But I love them both. And the thing is, is not to do too much. You know, don't overdo them. Yeah. They look great. And I'm pleased with them. You know, I can still add another leaf or two. There's a couple of spots I've just seen where I could do with um, a, a leaf. So I've just got some of these tiny ones here. Because you can mix and match ready-made and handmade. Just, uh, oh, come on, glue gun. Just spotted it in there like that. That just I didn't want to see all the stem, that's all. Um and I can just pop one in there. That's it, done. And I love them. And I think they're fantastic. Uh, easy to make time consuming but who cares you know what else have we got to do <laughs> the way to do this one is the same as I did the centre see the centre one that's the way to do that one that's all it is exactly the same make all your flowers like that apart from these they could possibly have been done with a little bit smaller, but I like them. I like them as they are, and I love this. Right, um, before I go, just try and drop by the shop because there's some lovely bargains in there. We do have all this ribbon. Um, we've got lots and lots of goodies, beading and, and whatever. I mean, uh, and also about this, it's like, say, this stuff, look. You can put things... Oh, that's what I was going to do, wasn't that? I was going to do that. Let me just do that before I go. I'm just going to... Add a couple of bits in. It's You can put them anywhere, but... I'm just going to put them here. A few there. That's it. Like that. What did I do? Three, yeah. It just gives it a little bit more life, that's all. See, right there, that's it. They don't have to be perfect. Yeah, like that.
okay don't forget drop by the shop we do have lots of things on sale at the moment and uh, there is a link in every description um, bar that we in every video that we do there is a link uh, for the shop because I still get I still get asked where's the link to the shop and I'm thinking uh, it were there <laughs> and it is when I check it no it's too much of that um, the link is in the description box of every video so uh, drop by don't forget we've got some really nice bargains coming up and some new goodies again shortly so i'm just waiting for them to come in the appliques let me just see um let me just show the appliques i got some appliques in honest to god they are gorgeous these are the new appliques i think i better share them with you because if i don't you won't be able to buy them you'll lose out with two new appliques in and they're absolutely gorgeous We've got this one, and as you can see, it's fairly big with all these flowers, but each one, you know, it can all be cut up. This is corded, so we've got that one. And the other one is this one, which is beautiful. You know, you can embroider your beads onto it and all sorts. So go and get them if you want them. Um, that's it. Uh, I think, like I say, I can come back and do another one. We'll make a different one and show you how each one's done. This is um, to add these into your projects. Uh, you know, like you could have the front of a book. You know, if you're doing a fabric book, that at the bottom and a nice vintage picture here with vines going off. Um, and I'm going to show you when my stuff comes how to do the vine. Okay, thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.